Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And this is kind of a road trip episode, although I'm gonna do most of the episode here in my apartment, but you're gonna see footage of my trip to Megacon this weekend, which was something I was gonna attend last year when I first moved here, but they canceled it like two or three weeks before the event. Literally a week after I moved here, I was like, ooh, a con, I, you know, that might help me transition into moving here a little bit better. Plus I had a little bit more spending money back then. So I was like, this could be fun. And then they canceled it. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Well, this year I thought they were gonna cancel it because a lot of the guests canceled but they still had it and everyone was really cool there. They had a mask mandate and uh, everyone was following it. Um, of course, there are times where people might peel it off real quick, take a picture if it was okay with the other person or if they were eating, obviously. Uh, but in the convention center, they did a really good job of you know mandating the mask uh, protocols. So, uh, so I, ha I had a blast. I never really felt unsafe there, just overwhelmed by the amount of people. But what I wanted to say and why I'm making this a Venom vlog episode, because there will be a Seek and Destroy episode about Megacon as well, a couple of them actually. But the reason I want to talk about it here is because everywhere I looked, there was Venom. Like, I'm not kidding. There was uh, 10 aisles in total as far as like you could go up and down, uh, aisle 100 to 1,000. Um, but and then there was probably like, I don't know, like a football field length or half a football field length of space from one end of the aisle to the other. So me and Nate just zigzagged up and down the aisles and we just, every aisle I saw Venom stuff. Like Venom and Carnage are everywhere. And it's just one of those things where I, you know, when I started the channel, of course Venom was popular then, but it just shows you how popular. I mean, this guy was there as much as Deadpool was. And Deadpool is someone you see everywhere. But this year it was a lot of people dressed as Spider-Mans. Uh, there was a couple Venoms or one or two Venoms. There was definitely a Scream, which was awesome. I actually sent that to our friend Ali because I was like, you got to check this out. This is awesome. I was thinking of you. Um, and so there was just, you know, there was a lot of other things other than just Deadpool. Normally when I would go to conventions, I'd see a hundred Deadpools and like a bunch of anime characters. Well, there was still a bunch of anime characters and I had no idea who any of those amazing people were uh, because I don't watch a lot of anime, but their suits and costumes and cosplay outfits looked amazing. But Venom though, everywhere I looked, I saw a symbiote, uh, especially Venom. He was on t-shirts. He was on, you know, sketch covers. He was in Artist Alley. When we went down Artist Alley, there was a bunch of artists who had covers, uh, you know, either mock covers or homage covers or like cool magazine cover, you know, things like he, they, it was everywhere. I loved it. I was just in Venom heaven and it was awesome. You could have called it Venom Con and I wouldn't have batted an eyelash because like I said, every aisle at least had Venom stuff in it. And it was just so cool. And then I got to meet Joe, uh, Joe Doyle, um, who is just the coolest guy in the world. His booth, when I was leaving the first day, um, I realized I didn't really spend any money. I think I spent like five bucks or something. And I was like, you know, I want to meet an artist and like, you know, buy something. And as I was thinking that on our way out the door, there was like 10 minutes before it closed, I saw Joe's work. And so I'll have some pictures up there of his stuff and you can check out his Instagram and all that. I wanna give him a big shout out. He's officially a member of the Parasites. This dude is so awesome. And we shared a behind the scenes story uh, that was really cool that we connected on that involves the second Venom movie. And it turns out it's a small world after all. And it was just really cool to, you know, engage with uh, Joe like that and, and, and then also check out his artwork. So what I ended up doing was buying these prints. So I have mine here. You can see, and I'm gonna at some point frame them or you know uh, do something really nice with them and have them on the wall in the background, maybe down towards that end. Um, I'll see what I can do. I gotta fit a lot of stuff in the background, but I'll do my best. Uh, maybe I'll just shoot from two different angles so you see it in every you know other episode or something. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Jason as as um, Venom, obviously. This is Peter Parker's uh, Venom or Peter Parker Black Costume uh, Spider-Man as Michael Myers, um, lifting up. You got the knife there, lifting the mask up. And then this one, which is Carnage as Freddy Krueger. How awesome is this? Like, just the coolest. And uh, I, Joe was so nice to sign all of these for me. He was just a really great guy. Um, and I just had a blast hanging out with him. And we started talking about, you know, he was like, hey, I'm an artist. I'm, you know, I'm always up for commissions and doing stuff for people if I have time. And, you know, and I would love to chat with you about something, maybe, you know, teach, like, exchange notes on branding and things like that. And I could definitely learn a few things about branding and growing and stuff like that. I mean, I did learn some things before, but uh, I don't always apply them. And it's because it, I'm not always using them. I feel like if I applied them more and more, it would help, you know, brand. The, the only thing is my, my big caveat is I don't like 
to go on social media. I just keep Instagram and even that's a private account. So I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm not very good at that stuff. Um, so it would be neat to kind of pick someone's brain about that kind of stuff, someone who is good at it because his presence there was awesome. And I would go all over the place and see him. He'd be like talking to someone at a different booth, like a different artist. He's out there networking, collaborating. He was taking selfies with people dressed as Venom. Like he's just an awesome dude, total rock star. And I loved hanging out with him. And so I hope to interact with him again in the future. Hopefully one day I can interview him on the channel like his art is awesome so I'm going to put a link to it down below check out his website check out his Instagram and uh, follow this guy he's super awesome and then hopefully we'll see more of him on this channel in the future um, and yeah and I told him about my plans for stuff I'm doing after Venom vlog and he was really interested in that but he's a big Venom fan so uh, I'm surprised he hasn't accidentally come across our channel before but I'm glad I met him because you know hopefully he's watching so if you are Joe you're an amazing dude and everyone who I met at the con was great and some of those people I will be making individual videos for and then I'll be doing a big mega con video on the Seek and Destroy show on this channel. So those episodes will go up later this week, but I just wanted to get this up uh, now and just talk to you guys about my trip to MegaCon. And uh, that next episode, we're gonna talk about the new posters that came out for Venom, the new release date, and then some images of Tom Hardy and Esquire magazine. We'll do all that. I was gonna cram it all on this one, but we've already talked enough. I'll try to keep this under 10 minutes. I'll talk all about that in the next episode, the new release date, all that stuff. So get ready. And then after that, we'll review Lasher, and then we'll get ready for the new Extreme Carnage books coming out later this month. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.